Jeff, what do you think was the root of your issues yesterday? Excuse me? What do you think, what was the root of your struggles or issues yesterday? Mine individually? Just missed shots. I just chose the wrong game to miss shots. That's about it. Overall, do you figure as, as a team, what do you, can you do to be more aggressive uh, Wednesday than you were as a team yesterday? The question is, what do we have to do to be more aggressive? Yeah, I mean, how do you just, just turn it up a notch or whatever? Well, I mean, we got to think about what they did to us in game one and just move forward. Uh, we know what we have to do. We know how we got to approach the game in game two. In film, I'm assuming you guys watch film today. What did you that show? A lot of mistakes that we made on ourselves. Uh, a lot of things that we controlled that we need to be better on for game two. Um, just we have to be more aggressive, play with a more sense of urgency. We should be all right. It's not hard to say that in a playoff game, doesn't it? Like in the regular season, that happens on occasion. But for a playoff game, you're right. Come on, Wes. Do anything specifically, you know, that you want? Say that again. Did Miles Turner do his defense on you? Was that? Was there anything different in that? Uh, I just missed shots. I was wide open. So. I just got to make them next time. Jeff, are those the shots that you want? You want to look to get different shots? Sure, they're going to leave me open and continue to shoot them. They're going to they're gonna fall, and then they have to adjust. I'm not going to adjust to them. They have to adjust to how I'm going to play. So, do you get a sense of the mood around here today? Is everybody ready to turn the page and just chalk that up to a bed? Of course, of course. Uh, you know, game one is behind us. We came in today, made our our plan of attack, and we moved forward. You know, that's that's what you have to do in the playoffs. You can't dwell on one game. Uh, every game is going to be different. We just have to learn from our mistakes and um, approach game two differently, and and uh, be ready to play on Wednesday. Talks about you know zoning out social media, just being tuned out of all of it. Um, Nationally, everyone want to act, wants to act like because you lost the game that the sky's falling or whatever. Is that the approach, though, that you guys are taking, that you're just kind of having that tunnel vision right now and tuning everything out? I mean, you have to. Everybody, I mean, media is going to speculate on, you know, how the locker room is, how our mental is. But, I mean, we know what we have to do next game. Uh, we can't allow the outside pressure of what people say, the stories they create to affect how we're going to play. Uh, and that's about it. Got it off two for 12 with six turnovers. Um, you know, that's about as, as poor as you guys can play offensively. Do you think something to yesterday's uh, game was just played so poorly at the start, you didn't really have a chance to dig yourself out of that hole? Um, we, there's always a chance. It's a, the game is a long game. I mean, we, I don't know what we brought the lead to in the third quarter or beginning of the fourth, but we gave ourselves a chance even though we played poorly yesterday. And, I mean, that's all you can ask for. If you play poorly, you keep fighting until you give yourself a chance, and we did that. We just couldn't convert when uh, we had the chances to. Um, but, you know, games like that happen. So, yeah, you cut it to seven with about a minute 50 left in the third quarter. And at that point, you seemed aggressive. Did that aggression disappear again in the fourth quarter? Or? We just made shots to, to open back up the lead. Um, and we missed a couple. We had a couple careless turnovers. Um, but I don't think it, it faded away. Is physicality surprising from the beginning? The Cavs are ready to do whatever it takes to bring an NBA championship back to the land. We've been here before, and we know what it takes. It takes grit. It takes drive. It takes hustle. It takes team. It takes 20,562. Be a part of the playoffs action. Go to Cavs.com slash tickets now to get in the game.